Hello and welcome back or welcome to the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare. My name is the Duke and uh, as you can see we are at war against our allies and we s have slain one of our allies in, um, in battle because we inherited the war of the former um, occupant of the county or duchy of Armenia, Armeniak. Um, and the county of Zela. Uh, yeah, that's, it's a bit weird. But... Um, so they were at war... With them to get this county. We were at war with them too. We were allied with both. One of them, the uh, Duchy of Bukalarion, was on our side... We won that war, and after we enforced our demands, he joined his brother, um, which is my brother-in-law, both of them, um, to, to well, um, get this county from me. Without a war declaration, just because they were at war already. And now, uh, we are fighting a war against them, and we killed, actually, one of my brothers-in-law. Accusation of witchcraft, bloodstained clothes and crows, feathers, strange smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Pompeiopoli as proof that Grigori, Gregoria has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of their village. The villagers claim her evil works must be the cause of their bad weather or calling for her execution. She must burn for her crimes against God. We are just rulers, so this is not what we would do. That evidence is circumstantial. Release her. The peasants would be upset and we would gain, but we would gain 300 stewardship lifestyle points. I wish you say I could use a new advisor. <laughs> Funny. She's a bit slow for a witch, isn't she? She's a wise woman, a slow wise woman, but she's pretty. So, uh, weird. Yeah, you can be upset as much as you want. I'm not burning someone for witchcraft. Supposedly witchcraft. Mm, we need to finish this war soon. One more decisive battle should do the trick. And then maybe some sieges. Why are they moving away? Come back. Will they move with me? Yes, they will. So let's face them once again with, oh, three, what, 3,000 men or something? Two thousand three hundred. The memories remain. Oh, Ephthemios, who are still with me. Our friend died in the battle Heracleon. With four prowess, he was a knight. So, that explains a lot. Man. Why is there no... Oh, come on. Why is there no... Um, like, limitation? Below eight prowess or something, you cannot join as a knight. Mayor Pablos of Castamon. Yeah, it's okay. He will join too. Ballistas joins too. We have four knights, it's okay. Count Anastasios is a badass. And he's wounded. Count Anastasios has wounded all my enemies. That's the possessed one, right?
The witness that has plagued my daughter since her birth has finally released its hold on her. Relief washes over me as I see Pavlina running around again with all the other children. Losing the trade sickly. Nice. Comfort of a friend. There are few things I enjoy more than Isaiah's company. Nice. Lose stress. We won that. We are going to besiege that county there. They will besiege there. So, oh, we need to move. That was a quick reaction. Let's besiege together. Renewal of patronage. After five years, the funds I set aside for the patronage of my court poet focus have run out. I cannot choose whether or not to renew my patronage for another five years or to let him go. Next time, a patronage for another term. He has been doing good work. Give him a bonus. The services are no longer required. Oh, real? <sighs> Cannot have fought him. Isaiah, my friend. You're not mad at us, right? Or are we going to... Have Polyparkos or cousin. He's younger, can gain more experience. Maybe we sign him. Um, you easy control. No claims. No fabrications. We need to. Oh, we won that siege. Um, where are you going, guys? We need one, one more siege to be won. We will lose this siege there, obviously. The stewardship perk. Bigger garrison size is a good thing. Maybe we should switch back to diplomacy. Try to get to the Augustus trade, at least. Lower construction costs or better fort levels. This. Our culture has discovered city planning. Oh, soon we will have mustering grounds. We won that siege. We need to move. Oh man, no, come on. I can scarce remember what my life was like before Pelagia declared her feelings for me. Those days seem to be seem bleak, so dreary, but with her by my side everything and anything suddenly seems possible. I wish we could go on like this forever, but deep down I know I must make my choice. Am I brave enough to give in to my feelings? Must I shut down my heart to Pelagia forever? Why should you? Why not get a soulmate? Crash. I, where am I? What's going on? I peer into the darkness. My eyes are just got. There's someone by my bedroom window. I scramble out of bed and run for the door, but the intruder is faster. She grabs my arm, tugs, and I fall. Before I can scream, a hand is covering my mouth. Listen closely, Duke. If you do what I say, no one will get her words turn into a gurgle as a dagger plunges deep into her neck. And so, Genos, are you alright? I would recognize that voice anywhere. My savior is none other than 
Dodge a spell a year. What? What happened? If you do what I say, no one will get the world's turn into a gurgles as a dagger plunges. So she saved me from a murder. Nice. Oh, they joined me. We need to move to stream up. Nice. Oh man. Orthodox exaltation. Bishop Bodhisattva has become a famous and highly respected figure amongst many Orthodox for his honesty. No lie is too small, no truth too uncomfortable for this pious man whose example is inspiring countries more faithful every day. All commendable. They got reinforcements, but we will get reinforcements too. No? Oh. Ah, oh, it's another it's another barony. Uh, oh, Pelagia, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little daughter. How will you become my child and what shall I call you? Sevilla. So we can lift this occupation. We should be good, right? Oh, we won. No. There it is. That's it. We won. And force demands, we will get a shitload of gold. You keep the contested title. Duke Simachos loses the claim. Good thing. And now, before we do anything else, Ioannis. Your aunt is my wife, so let's be allies. And for you, Yuximachos, we are still allied. We were at war, but we are allied. Um, disband the army, and now, very exciting. We can recruit him for twenty gold. A very capable hatchery. It's Tyrin. Oh man, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's a uh, Tyri. Tyrin. Knights. Knights is a good thing. Um, yes, I want. I want to recruit him. Very much so. His twenty-nine prowess. He will like plow through our enemies. We have six knights. Let's see. What decision can we... Layman, commission an epic. Pay gold for prestige and possible renown. Ooh. Why not? What I need is a classical tale of uh, the grandeur of my family, a chronicle about the origins of the Dukas dynasty and how we are destined for greatness. I only need someone who knows how to tell a story. Nikiforos of Secularion or Marcos Megalomatis. Nikiforos is an accomplished storyteller. He's a monk. Looks legit. High chances of an exceptional epic, but we are going to lose a lot of money. Surely a lowly stable boy could do it. Mm, 
lose a lot of money. Why not? Nice. Family Epic. My Family Epic seems to be progressing well. The some lines already sound like they will be quoted for decades to come, but Nikiforos has a lot of questions about the focus of the story. It would be easier to answer if he wrote it all first, then I could tell him what I dislike about it, but he insists he needs answers now. It should focus on me and my destiny, of course. It is a family history, so be generous. Tell the story as truthful as possible. It is a family history, so be generous and maybe leave my uncle out of it. Recruited a guest. Ah, there are the Hatchaven. A question of time. I have not been presented with new work on my family epic for weeks and the whole process is either taking too long or he ends up doing shoddy work. It is too, too much to demand that he delivers excellence and that he delivers it now. I want it to be good and I want it now. Reduced chance of producing. Uh -huh. I will put him up for as long as it takes. We are impatient. So... Self-imposed rules. But we are impatient. We want it now. He's already 41 years old. I have the feeling that years go by much much quicker in ck3 than they did in ck2 uh, of course it could be due to the fact that everything runs very very smooth right uh it seems as if boss design boss bozidar has been reading parts of my new family epic of course he has discovered discrepancies between promises made in the past and our current reality I can tell that he will not let it go anytime soon. Surely you can have see how wise and benevolent it would be to fulfill your four base promises, even now. I belong to a long line of promise keepers. The country level, the control level in Helen and Pontus will change by minus 30. He gains 30 opinion of us. We gain prestige and piety. Bozida is our um, bishop, right? All my ancestors were pious, but not necessarily wise. We are not a very pious person, right? And our grandfather was very cynical. So my ancestors were pious, but not necessarily wise. Yeah, let's go for this. Uh, let's go for control here. Family epic. Inspiration strikes. Nikiforos has taken a number of liberties in my family epic in regards to warfare and battles. It makes for dramatic scenes, but I worry my marshal has been offended as he furrows his brow at a particular scene. I'm almost relieved when he finally shares his thoughts. It's all nonsense, but this part with the wing of the mountain has given me some ideas. Wherever inspiration can be found, we should use it. Storied innovations inspired by invented stories. This character has discovered some original military tactics. Explain it to me in detail. You gain 500 martial life set experience. Nope. We go for... Take the inspiration. Mm. We should... Think about... Educating our children. Thank you, Heraclides. 
What a nice steward you are. Mm. Maybe not ourselves. But no, do it. Uh, we will educate our children ourselves. An excellent epic. Nikephoros has completed my family epic and what a glorious chronicle he has composed. It has high drama, moral quandaries and tense duels. Everything my family has been forged from is in there. Even the part with the hewing of the mountain, seemingly so far-fetched, has become a touching moment outlining the destiny of my house. This might be the greatest chronicle ever written. Commissioned excellent family epic, which gives us five prestige a month for 10 years. 75 prestige and 75 renown. Nice one. Good decision. Um... After all the time Nikiforos has spent at my court and how well he has gotten to know me, it feels strange that he's about to depart. I have other places to go and other stories that need to tell need telling. Best to explain. I suppose this is goodbye. There is still so much here for you. Nah, you can you can go on. Thank you. Um the question is Are we going to marry him off? He's twenty seven years old, son of my uncle. And we are just, so we do not blame the sins of the father onto the child, right? So maybe we should... Is the... Late Duchy of Irene, right? Mm. No, not late. Late. You say late when someone has died, right? Uh, yeah, the former Duchess. Blames me. Some strong ties we could build, maybe. Rank. Oh, we can. Traits inheritable. A giant. <laughs> He would like an intellectual woman, right? Oh, she's scaly, but pretty. Agnes Graziano, a Cisalpinian. No, we want a Greek wife. Can we culture, 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 Greeks? 
Αθούσα Θεοδιοσιοπόλητη, Νικόλετα, ο Ρωμάνε Σερβίλιο, they are too old. He's a dwarf. Forty one. Let's go with her. Oh, he loses. Why, though? Anyway, let's not waste any more time with our cousin. Uh, social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my vassal Mario's career has grown bolder. Um. Forgetting to invite him leaves him in the dark. We shall have tasks which are impossible to complete. A guardian for Andronikos. Oh, so the steward died, right? Uh, we have no other good stewards. Anthusa is a pretty good diplomat, so maybe we could teach him a thing or two. Maybe our marsh. No, focus on diplomacy with Anthusa. His opinion suggests increased major Akokyo's opinion of you. Nope. Oh, there is still one alliance that we can. No, we cannot. We, uh, we lost that perk. Mm -mm. When Maya Zacharias tried to complete his task thoroughly, I scolded him in front of everyone. When he heard you get done in time, I displayed the sloppy work for all these. He bent himself backwards to please me, yet I never acknowledged his efforts. He remains quiet, eyes cast low. Nice. Mm, okay, okay, let's see. We can hold all those counties, right? Which ones are lost? Our daughters are second in line of succession, so everyone is inherited by our son. Except we will get another son now. This pillar here is again pregnant. She has a lot of claims. Of course, um... Of our alliances, right? A new diplomacy perk, level fame impact 100%. We could have used that before we wrote the poem. Diplomacy per level of fame plus one. Let's go this route. Um. Which one is more powerful? Galarian. Bearing war will break the alliance. No claims to press. But she has all sorts of claims. Any, anyhow, uh, are there any claimants we can invite to our court? Decisions, invite claimants. This will cost prestige. But it will not um, impact our progress, right?
we will test this uh, 741 okay nice no progress loss Andonia Oriforos, County of Abydos. Where's this guy? There. With a baby cradled in her arms, Duchess Pelagia's gaze meets mine. Her eyes are full of loving devotion. My love, let us name him Constantinos after you. And a son. Constantinos III. Why not, my soulmate? Look at this. Both Duke Theodorus of Ephesus are in, and I are held in esteem by our liege Vasilios Leon. However, when it comes to handing out titles, honor, and wealth, one of us will always be first among equals. The upcoming gathering in Constantinos Castle gives me a chance to ensure that I'm the one with the Basilius' favor. Having my friend Count Nikiforo by my side will surely help as well. As a smooth talker, this should be easy. Diplomacy challenge against Duke Theodoros. He's a very he's a better diplomat than I am, right? I will illustrate that God already favors me. This is a learning challenge. Uh, we vassal should work together, not against each other. Hmm. Let's try the diplomacy challenge. I become friendly with the Basilius. Basilius Leon of the Byzantine Empire again to the opinion. Lost opinion on Duke's F Ephesus. Faction created against me. Pompeiupoli. Well, they hate me. Gain men at arms negotiations. Minus 25% in upkeep. Child benefits from spouses. That's a late. My son Andronikos is more likely to receive a good education due to Duchess Pelagia's tutelage. Oh. Sounds about it. Now. This belongs to Harsianon. Very powerful vessel. Allied with a count. Maybe we should try to an exchange for piety. Oh, I didn't know that you can do this. Using the patri the ecumenical patriarch to press to to gain a claim on the whole duchy. Wow. Um. That will not happen anytime soon. Except if we could befriend him, but uh, this will not happen. We will do as suggested. Fabricate a claim against Erasus. Low control in Paphlagonia. Eight. Oh, he's working already in the county of Zella, that's okay. But she, yeah, we will not create a second Dutchy title. Not now. Greetings, Duke Constantinus Paflagonia. I've heard good things about you and I'm hoping interested in starting a written conversation. Oh man, not again. <laughs> what do you guys hear that rumors? Uh... 
yeah, let's answer, the, answer this in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking through. And we will hear each other next time.